Hello, outside advice number five. And I will talk about the, that people are complaining, uh, complaining about other players that they don't do what they do. So every player thinks what they do is the best for everyone else, okay? That is, that is what, what everyone does, okay? They found a, a great uh, technique that they use and then they want to force it on other players and then they say you you need to work on your stroke okay this it is not good you need to do it like i do okay you are doing it all wrong <laughs> so that is what they say even to the pro players i have seen it uh, people do it to darren appleton that uh, they complain that you need to do this you need to do that and of course the darren appleton knows the best himself he's a world champion and uh, so, so that is just very, very strange to me that the, the, it is often the amateurs who complain about the pros that the pros are doing it wrong. The pros, the pros need to do this. The pros need to do that. And this pro, this pro has a bad, uh, bad stroke. This this pro needs to work on his stroke. Okay. So they always complain about the pool players, but. Uh, it is, it is very different uh, between snooker players and pool players because in snooker you need a very good technique to pot the balls but in pool you don't you don't need a good technique at all okay you don't need that so that is why you see many many pool players use very very different techniques because it just doesn't matter okay it doesn't matter because the pockets are so big pockets are so big and what really matters is practicing uh, the knowledge okay you need knowledge in pool you don't need good potting ability you need knowledge of the angles the spin and everything so you spend time you spend time on improving your knowledge instead of improving your your technique okay so that is why many pool players are very good players even with even even with a bad technique okay and you, you don't see any snooker players with a bad technique because you need to pot the balls. Potting the balls is most, the most important thing in snooker. You don't in snooker you don't need uh, you don't need to be good at kick shot, kick shots, bank shots, combination and other things. Okay, you just need to be good good at potting the balls and doing the same thing over and over again. Especially with the last uh, color, the balls you do everything the same way every time so that is just something you need to practice do the same thing over and over again and that i think that is very boring okay so in snooker you need to practice more hours per day only for only on your technique to keep your technique and i found that that is very boring so that is why i play pool because in pool you can play very good even with with a bad technique okay and that is the key. You need to find a way to play to play good with a bad technique. So you need to find a way to to play with pocket speed. Okay, pocket speed. Uh, that how can you make the shot with the greatest greatest amount of uh, chance, the biggest chance of the ball going in. You need to find a way. To play like that and after you fi find that you are able to to run the table even with a bad technique and you don't need a good stroke to to run the table so you can you can uh, after you find that you don't need to be in a dead stroke to win you can just pocket the balls with the pocket speed and they will go in so if you just uh, slammed in, slam in the balls very hard then you need a better stroke to do that but if you use pocket speed the optimal optimal stroking stroking speed then then the balls will go in okay and uh, you can see Ralph Suke a good example of using pocket speed so that is why that is why he wins so much because uh, if if he would have hit the ball wrong it still goes in and he continues to run the table.
So that is that is a very good idea to to do. You need to practice. You don't need to practice using a good stroke. You can practice practice using a sloppy stroke, very bad stroke, and you practice how, how will you play in order to run the tape. How will you play? So that is what I have done recently. I have done. Uh, I have played very quickly. Okay, very quickly. I haven't focused on the stroke. Just play quickly. Maybe. Uh, a couple seconds per shot uh, after going down after going down on, on on into my shot i just stroke one time and then i pull the trigger so that is not as accurate as it uh, would be but it uh, helps me learn how to use pocket speed to run the table and i recommend you do the same i recommend you do the same practice uh, practice to play in a way that you can run the table even with a bad stroke okay so that is the end of my video i will go now subscribe i'll see you soon goodbye